Hi, and welcome back to the Short Vol Show on YouTube. My name is David. Um, we had an exciting day yesterday to do with interest rates decision, and the decision was, of course, to lower interest rates to the range of 150 to 175. And this was a good lesson for some about uh, positioning and listening to people on YouTube because uh, my most recent video was uh, a position update where I talked about being long volatility. And since that video, I hadn't released anything else. However, I had changed my position completely. Now, I never recommend to people to follow my position or do what I do. And that's for a number of reasons. First of all, I'm not legally allowed to do that. But uh, even more importantly, I don't know what your financial situation is. And so I can't recommend for you to do anything. And uh, the third reason is, of course, that my positions change all the time. And even if you were, wanted to follow what I was doing, um, it would be impossible to do so because even if you, you were following me around or if I had my camera on at all times, the market moves very quickly at times. You wouldn't get the same prices as me. But all that being said, um, I did switch my position around to being short volatility ahead of the earning of the uh, decision to lower rates. Now, leading up to that decision, there was a 93% uh, chance that they were going to lower rates. Also, the term structure was very extended. There was uh, almost $4 between the second month future and spot in the VIX. And as we're about halfway through the expiration cycle, that second month future was becoming the dominant and continuing, I'm sorry, continuing. What was the word I was looking for? Not contributing. Was the most important uh, future as far as uh, UVXY's price and uh, VXX's price and TVX's price. So um, with that $4 away from the spot price of the VIX, you had a huge divergence between what the VIX was priced at and what the futures, the VIX futures were priced at. And remember, for people trading UVXY or TVX or VXX, the price of the futures is what actually determines uh, the price of these ETPs. So, um, yeah, VIX got down to 13, but the uh, the future that most determines the price of the VIX hardly got below 17. So, yeah, you're looking at a 13 in the VIX, but you're looking actually at a 17, which a 17 handle, which is determining the price of these entities. And why does that matter? Well, because the difference means that these things that the futures could fall a long way if spot VIX stays 13 or below. The futures have a long way to fall before expiration. Remember, futures on expiration are going to be uh, very close to the actual spot price. So nothing else happens. That futures got $4 to fall towards spot uh, before expiration. So that is a lot of potential movement to the downside to be long volatility. And even when the VIX is low and, um, we didn't get the move in volatility. We didn't get the move in the markets either yesterday, but today being the day after, uh, the, the decision with the Fed, we have gotten a down move in the markets. Now, remember the markets are still very high. I mean, the, uh, SPX still above 3,000 here, comfortably above 3,000. Currently, uh, SPX is 3,029, and thus, uh, you know, a down day is really nothing in the in the uh, grand scheme of things. And the VIX now up to 1375, up 142, but still very very cheap. Now the term structure has absorbed most of this up move. Okay, so. You know, you've got a VIX up 142. UVXY is only up 75 cents. Now, those who misunderstand things would say, ah, this is manipulation. What a scam. If the VIX is up 142, UVXY should be up at least two since it's a one and a half times leveraged product. Well, the reason why UVXY is not up very much today is because just that. There is so much room in the term structure for a move up. This is like your car when you drive over a pothole 
if you've got huge stock absor shock absorbers in your car, when you move over a pothole, what happens? Well, the tire goes up over the pothole. The car barely moves because the shock absorber observes most of that up move. So think of your car. Think of uh, UVXY being the car. You're driving down the road. You hit a pothole, that being the VIX pop car barely moves up because you've got that shock absorber being the term structure. And that's really what's happening today. That's why UVXY is only up 77 cents with the VIX up 143. Another way of looking at that is, yeah, the VIX is, VIX is up 143, but what are the VIX futures up? Well, the second month future is only up 50 cents. And it's lucky to be up that much, to be honest with you, because up 50 cents, that front month future is still over $3 higher than VIX spot. Uh, to look at this for a second, let's move away from this pit picture here and let's look at some numbers. Okay, and let's see what we've got here. And let's see, it looks like my display is not showing up very well. Let's see if we can get a better one here. Let's see if I can fix this. Let's see, source, window, capture. I'm going to try to just capture the thinkorswim window here really quickly. Sorry for the, the inside baseball right here. But let's try that instead and see if that looks a little better. Well, that is the thinkorswim screen. Let's make it a little bigger here. And we'll see what we will see. All right. So I'm behind the, <laughs> I'm behind the screen right now. There I am. All right. So I'm behind the screen. But... Um, all right, so if we look, and I'm going to pull up this. Does that work? No, that doesn't work either. Let's see if that works. Hmm. All right, so if we look at some numbers here, and I'm actually going to go to the term structure here as well. And I may have to fill in a window for that to VIX central. Craziness, craziness with my screen today. Okay, so let's make a window for that too. Why not? I'm not going to let this computer defeat me. All right, so there is a window for that too, and we'll pull that one up right here. And there you go. Ha, computer, you didn't get me that time. All right, so here is a chart of the term structure uh, currently, and you will notice here that um, there is a distance between spot and the front month future, which has somewhat narrowed, less than two points now. Um, we've got spot 1377, front month future 1550, 1550, and this is a more reasonable area for the term structure. The term structure is looking a little more normal now than it was before we had a little a little pop in the VIX, and um, which basically means that the the futures traders were correctly anticipating a little pop up because. Uh, with a pop, with a pop up, we're kind of back to normal here. Uh, we see Contango currently nine percent, which is heavy. Now you tend to f either people overestimate Contango or they underestimate it. And right now, yeah, the 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 um, futures and whatnot are staying way uh, above the actual spot. But in the meantime, in the background, we've got Contango at nine percent. Now, Katanga at 9% is going to tend to really erode things quite quickly. And you just don't want to forget about that. Um, if we were to do the math, okay, well, let's say Katanga was 10%. And let's just do really basic math. If Katanga were 10% and UVXY was trading $20, then uh, Katanga would be contributing to about a two-point move in decay per month, okay? Let's break that down per week, 50 cents per week. So currently, this thing is decaying, all things being equal, at about 50 cents per week. And we've been at, we've had a contango of 9% or more for the last few days. And even with this pop up in the VIX, up 1.42 points, we still have contango of 9%. So this is a very real decay uh, that you're going to see actually it really affecting this thing. Now, we know it's affecting this because we, we've taken out the all-time low, right? Yesterday, we took out the all-time low several times, and we ended with a new low that was significantly lower than the all-time low before that. What was that low? Well, it was 1883. 
uh, which we uh, hit yesterday. Now, before that low, the low before that was over a dollar higher. Uh, or maybe I'm wrong. No, I'm wrong. The low before that was 1920, I think it was 1928 or 1929. So uh, about 50 cents higher. So um, we really are seeing some decay in this product. People will start talking to you about reverse split coming up sometime soon. Now, I don't like to trade the product as much once it gets below $20. And so once we get really grinding down here to like the $15 range, I will be looking for like everybody else will be to the split. It just seems like there's more action uh, when this product is at a higher price. But uh, currently now, this thing is decaying. And you can just think in your head that it's decaying by about 50 cents a week. Now, that is a high number. And I don't anticipate Contango staying up at this 9% level uh, for very long. Let's take a look historically at Contango. And the way we're going to do that is I'm going to get out of the way once again. And we'll show you this chart. And we can go to Vic Central and we can go under uh, Contango tab. And this is going to show you Contango over the last several years, 10 years to be precise. We can go ahead and we can isolate the last uh, two years and we can get rid of this other tab. So when I get rid of, let's see what we're doing. When I get rid of this F4 to F7 tab by clicking here, let's see if I can do that. Okay, so everything in the blue that is above the red line here is contango, and everything that is below the red line is in backwardation. So you can see we spend most of our time in contango here. I think it's something like 80 to 85 percent of the time. Now let's isolate the last two uh, or year and a half to two years here. So I'm just going to drag the mouse while holding the left mouse button to isolate the last. And you're going to see this pretty significant area of backwardation, which was last year from uh, end of October through January, we were in backwardation for a long period of time, right? Now, this is just the first two months in Contango. So remember, a, the, the UVXY is actually based on the index, the SPVX SPID index, and thus uh, it's a, a more smooth, uh, it's a more smooth thing than this would indicate. So this is showing contango all over the board. This is just representing the contango between the first two months, which the index is based on. But when you have an index of 30 days, it's smoothed out. So it's not these violent moves or these, these more extreme moves in contango that you see indicated on this chart. Uh, however, you do see that since earlier in this year, the whole left side of this chart, we have been in contango and it has been growing. You see it, it's like an uptrend in contango. And we don't necessarily have to believe that that's going to end right now and go right down. It, the uptrend could continue for longer. Uh, indeed, we are not at the bottom bargain basement for the VIX right now. We could go lower. Let's take a look at the VIX chart for a second. And for that, we're going to go back to our screen here. And let's pull up the VIX chart. And we can see right now, we, once again, we're, the VIX is 1368. And we can see the pop today, but I'm going to back the chart out a little bit further to a three-year. And you're going to see, yeah, we're low right now for, uh, you know, recently. In fact, you could draw a line here and say, wow, this is a great place to, quote-unquote, buy it. Now, nobody can buy the VIX, so that isn't as meaningful as it would be for a stock. Uh, but you can see up... In, Back in 2017, we were way lower, and there's no reason why we can't break through. The, there's no bottom floor here at 13 or 12. There's no reason why we couldn't break back down to 10 here. Uh, if the market takes out the all-time highs and continues to rally, that certainly could happen. And uh, I want you to just notice here that Right now, the market is not appear to really be following uh, anything specific the way it has in the past. Uh, like, for example, the president's tweets are not causing spikes in volatility or, or rapid movement of the, of the stock market here. Um, and we, uh, the market has been very successful in the last 
while of getting uh, back up to the highs here. Now, the question is, can we bust out? Here's a chart for the last three years, and you see um, us busting a little bit to the upside here, and we can continue to bust higher um, potentially from here. So everything looking just rosy in the stock market. Now, you may say to yourself, well, at the top, it's time to sell. Many a person has lost all their money trying to pick the top in the stock market. So, yeah, if you were successfully able to do that, you could make a lot of money. But um, many a person has tried that and failed. And um, the other impulse would be to say the trend is your friend and stay long here. So I'm going to leave that up to you. Um, I am the worst market timer in the world. I know something about the stock market, but timing when stuff is going to happen is certainly not my forte. Anyway, so that's a quick update for you. Um, I do want to thank my Patreon supporters and uh, my newest Patreon supporter, uh, who I am very grateful for. I'm going to find his name off camera. And I... I um, I wish for that you yourself, if you haven't, would, which most people haven't. I mean, it's a very small group of people who actually support us on Patreon. But um, so I'm not going to waste too much time on this. But please uh, consider supporting us. Uh, Richard Roma, latest Patreon supporter. Thank you, Richard. Much appreciated. Join the crew here, folks. Let's make this channel great. Um, let's all profit together and teach each other. I learn as much or more from you, those of you who do reach out to me as anything that um, I'm able to tell you. So I always appreciate the interaction with people. Please feel free to reach out to me. I've met some awesome people this year. Uh, I hope trading is going well for you. Don't follow what I do. Certainly follow... Um, Certainly follow some of the principles that I use. Learn from my execution. Watch the PNL. Enjoy yourself. Um, maybe uh, think about some of my strategies. But following exactly what I do, you you're never going to make it as a trader really successfully just by picking someone and following them. And uh, it's just it's it's just the wrong philosophy of things. What you want to do is try to educate yourself, come up with your own ideas. I remember as a person competing to get into a, a training program, I was a clerk. I was trying to get into the trader trainee program for one of the big trading firms. And the reason I got in is because they said, you know, David, um, you might not be uh, the fastest of all the people here. You might, you know, you might not be the smartest, but I see you're trying uh, unique stuff you're thinking about stuff and you're coming up with your own ideas and you're executing them and so we're giving you a shot i encourage you to explore check out stocks check out um, different products come up with your own ideas run them by people and try your own thing that's how you're going to be successful hopefully um, i can set an example here of some of the concepts but fo just following what i do is not going to get you there it doesn't even get me there so it's not going to get you there um, I would recommend just learning and coming up with your own ideas. That is the warning in this video. And thank you so much for Patreon supporters. Continue to support me. Let's make money together and trade together. Um, UVXY, still a lot of potential to the downside, I believe. Uh, let's go over just the position right now, just so you know what it is uh, for those of you tracking that. Okay, so right now we are long some put spreads. So we're along the Dece 20 December in UVXY. We're along the 20 December 2219 put spread and the 20 December uh, 2320 put spread. And we are also along in January, the, uh, the 17 January 2219 put spread. So we're essentially short 400 deltas here in UVXY. And we are going to attempt to ride this decay of 50 cents a month I was talking to you about lower in UVXY. So I, this is going to be aggressive for some people. I know UVXY is close to the all-time lows, but the term structure is still set up in a very decaying fashion right here. And um, so we're going to hang out with this short position and see how it works. Hopefully... Uh, that's successful and hopefully whatever you're doing trading is successful. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.